Hi, I'm Stephen Christensen of Star Circle Academy. What I'm going to show you is how to use the Advanced Stacker Plus to reverse the order of your stacking action. Normally when you stack, your shots are going to be rotating from east to west because that's the order that the shots occur, but you can reverse the order to get the opposite direction if you wish. I'll illustrate by using these 21 exposures. You see the first of the exposures is this one, and the last of the exposures is that one. What I'm going to do for this particular illustration is first do the normal stack. I'm going to stack the first 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the first 11 in the normal way using the normal tools. So nothing fancy here. So tools, Photoshop, batch, window pops up, and I say I want to do this first. OK. Now it's loading the first image, and eventually I'll click stop and stop just to show you what we have here. What we have is right here. So this is what the image looks like. If we look at the stack of images, we see everything's cool. I'm going to bring in an image that I've already doctored. The image before the first one was taken in lighter area, and I've clipped off the sky. So I'm going to duplicate this layer onto the existing stack, the stack that I'm starting to create as follows. I just duplicated it and I don't need it anymore. So now if you look you'll notice that that duplicated image shows up in my stack here. It can show up anywhere. I'm just going to drag it up to the top and put it here where the foreground mask is. One more thing I'm going to do, and these, these things I'm doing right now are described in several of the videos on using the Advanced Stacker Plus. I'm going to turn on the average I'm going to turn turn this layer off, which means it shows through, and I'm going to let the brighten mode show up as well. So what that's doing is taking the average image uh, that it's going to stack, and it's going to make your sky a little bit cleaner. Uh, now you can see what my foreground looks like. Just to show you quickly, I'm going to turn off the foreground mask. Move it over here so you can see it. Turn off the foreground mask, and that's what the first image looked like. All right, so what we have here is we have a foreground layer on top, the sky has been uh, cut off so that it uh, doesn't block what's coming through. I can turn this layer on or off. You can see that that's the effect it's having. This is just uh, the whole point here is to be able to use a foreground mask. I'm also going to turn off the watermark. Uh, it's too small to see here anyway, but I don't want it in this point. Now I've got my images, and what I want to do is stack them in the order that they appear here. The order that they stack in is always the alphabetical order, so they're going to stack from this direction to that direction. So let me do that. Let me uh, do the Tools, Photoshop, Batch, and now I'm going to stack in, let's use uh, Comets mode, why not, and OK. Now these are full-sized images created using Lightroom to export, and you can see they're stacking one at a time you'll notice that the trails are occurring and they're rotating in the direction of the natural rotation of the sky meaning east to west or in this case counterclockwise and once I have those images stacked uh, you'd think I'd be done but I'm going to do a little bit of a trick to make it nice and easy so there we go this is kind of interesting this is the normal rotation rotating from east to west in this direction I want to save the results of this so what I'm going to do Let's look back at my uh, layer palette. I'm going to take the result of this with the Control Alt Shift E or Command Option Alt E. That's going to create my normal stack, my normal direction. I'm just going to call it that and save it. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I now am going to want to stack in the opposite direction. And I'm going to use one of the little features that's built into the Advanced Stacker Plus to make it easier. I'm going to click the reset and run it. What that's going to do is just throw away all of the images that it's collected so far. It goes back to only the foreground. Now I want to take these images from here until here and I want to reverse their order. So I'm going to click here. It changes their sort order. And you think that would be enough, but in fact you have to rename these files in order for them to be processed in the reverse order because the way Bridge feeds them to Photoshop is that they are always ordered. So we're going to use the rename tool that's built into Bridge. 
and what we're going to do is choose an, something we've already created called prefix renumber. And what this does is you tell it you want to put a sequence of numbers of three digits on the front of the things that, that, that it's going to renumber. And you can start with whatever you want. So let's just start with 0, 1. Uh, I also put a dash and f by the, after that the existing file name. One thing that is important to do here, I think, is to preserve the current file name because I'm only going to do this rename temporarily. And you can see down here at the bottom, my file name is currently this, and it's going to add a prefix, and that will be the new file name. And that's important to get the stacking order correct. So I will do the rename operation, and you'll notice that all the files got renamed. What's interesting now is they're in reverse order. Uh, in terms of the way that they were already sorted, but now you see 139 to 149 still is in the order that you would expect, but this is reverse order. That's the order that they'll stack in, the last until the middle. Hopefully this is making some sense. The bottom line is, if I didn't do the rename, it wouldn't matter what order I sort them in, which is what I'm changing up here. Now I'll do my operations again. I'll do Tools, Photoshop, Batch, this time I'm going to do comments again and what you shall see happen is it will take these files and bring them in in the reverse order you'll notice they're all darker because it was taken well after twilight and instead of going uh, counterclockwise all of the streaks are going clockwise so there we go we're done you want to compare the before and after picture let's go back to the layer palette and we can look at the normal direction, which goes one way, and the opposite direction goes the other. And guess what? We can even be a little fancy here, and we can overlay these two on one another by putting this one in lighten mode. So now you've got streaks going in opposite directions, and you can pick the point at which they overlap uh, just by deciding where, the, where to turn them around. So now I've got a very interesting uh, an effect, and I can save this. or I can save just one or the other. Obviously, I could have reversed the entire stack as well. Anyway, that's how you can reverse the order of stacking that happens in Star Circle Academy's Advanced Stacking Action. And uh, just to recap what we did, we took half of the files, we stacked them in forward order, and then we took the next half of the files, reversed their file names, and stacked them in reverse order. Now we have the problem that we still have these files that are named kind of bizarrely because we put the prefix on them so they would sort differently. How do we fix that? Well, we use the rename command again, and if you were clever and used the preserve current file name, then you can now undo that by restoring the original name. Now this is a preset that I've saved, but it really just consists of saying the new file name should equal the preserve file name, and you can see it will undo that. And we click rename, and voila, as our French friends would say, we're back to the way we started. We sure hope you've enjoyed this, and we hope you have clear skies and smiling photons.